Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, I'm going to show you what to do when your foam gun uh, is not really foaming or it looks blocked or jammed. Uh, but don't pay any attention for the threads that you can see there. It's uh, due to another video, I took it apart already, but then I just decided to quickly make this video. So, yep, I show you how can you clean it. When you remove this extension or connector, then you will see this little orifice in it. Uh, usually that is getting blocked by the detergents, soaps, and there can be some um, scale in it, scale buildup, lime scale or so. So we are just going to remove that one for this. We are going to use a flathead screwdriver and then we just remove that little orifice. Uh, this one in particular is okay, uh, you can clearly see through, so this one doesn't need any cleaning now, but in case it's blocked, you just need to clean it, either with a needle or you just, I don't know, put it in some vinegar, and then it would remove any lime scale and such. Uh, yeah, and another thing, if your foam gun doesn't provide enough foam, then this might be the culprit. Originally in the factory they supply with a 0.12 orifice uh, but you can buy a 0.11 and then the same way we just took it apart now uh, that's how you change it. You remove the old one and then you put in the new. Simple as that, in reverse order you just put everything back and you are good to go. However, the reason why I took it apart originally is that I got one of these guns and I'm just going to replace the one I've got because I'm not so happy with this Karcher connectors. Um, I prefer this quick connect. So I'm going to replace on the pressure washer this gun part and of course that requires me to install a quick connect. So for that I need to just remove this extension again and then I can quickly install it.
all right guys that's about this video in another video i'm going to replace this one um, on the pressure washer so yep that's it basically um, if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell so you're not going to miss um, this kind of videos or in other topics that i make i would like to say thank you for your time and catch you on the next one bye bye